The challenge is simple. Can the new A-Class do something the old A-Class could never do? Keep up with a BMW 1 Series. I'll tell you what is amazing. We've got Captain Lunatic up front. Yeah. He's not getting away. No, no. And he's really... He's hanging his tail right out. <laughs> I know people would pay money to sit alongside Tiff in a car, but really, I'd pay money not to. I've, I've, I'm, I'm done with it. It did rather well. I kept looking in my mirror, and there's Plato and Grin and Bear it and concentrating and serious. It's so darting. It is really precise and positive, and yeah, I like it. I really like it. I tell you what, it's a really good little chassis. It's great. Merck have worked hard at it. I just think that the problem with that AMG chassis is, is it's incredibly niche. I like it round the circuit like this. Yeah. I don't think I'd like it on the road. No. Though. And this is weird about Merck. Merck is known for beautiful ride quality. Yeah. And this is where they've almost forgotten about it. I might actually have black eyes by the end of this and no one's even punched me in the face. How does it feel just on the rough road? Really good, actually. Oh, really yeah. solid, but incredibly comfortable as well and so quiet, I can't really hear that engine. It's like driving around in a nuclear bunker. What's an offset side soil? Basically like muddy knolls for a bit of axle articulation. Okay, it's still just on the centre dip. Oh, bit of wheel, wheel, wheel spinach there. There was one time where we got stuck on some sand and it sort of bogged down and was spinning its wheels a bit. It's slipping at the back, Vicky. Like I'm putting on the rear diff. So we just punched the rear diff lock and shot up the hill. Wow. Oh, look at that. It's like a wow. shove in the back. It's an amazing bit of kit underneath. A uh, fancy little swim, boys. I do. How deep, do we know how deep it is? And that's a bow wave. That, 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 that's a proper bow wave, that. The car feels like it's bomb-proof. The Jeep is built to shred. It probably is, actually. They do sell them in the Russian markets and other unsettled parts of the world. Turn it and power and... and... Go that way. <laughs> We're not supposed to be on this grassy bit. What happened is that part of the game? Do I get any score for that, Tom? Uh, no, no score, I'm afraid. My second and final attempt. Slightly more measured, you see, there. And then, what one was it? Lock stops, lock yeah. stops. Back to the lock stops, lock stops. And then just taking lock stops off and... Yeah, but it's... Yeah, look at the smoke, look at the smoke behind me. <laughs> still, look at still, look at still sliding, you see? Look at the smoke and give me ten points. I can't give you ten points for that, Tiff. I can't. It is good fun. I will give, give it that. But I don't think it's a controlled slide. We're going to have to third-party mark. Because if you're not going to agree that I quite obviously won the battle. No, I simply can't. I can't agree that. I'll have to get some Japanese drift or judges <laughs> to come and tell you you're wrong. He's coughing, that bloke. And, naturally, I want to drive some of their work. So I persuaded Catalin to let me take two of his favourites to a nearby kart track. I think I'll start with some glamour. This 1966 Mercedes-Benz 230 SL was discovered as a rusty, rotting wreck in the United States of America. Bought for about $6,000 brought to Romania and given a 40,000 euro complete rebuild, something that would have cost significantly more in England. It's now as good as new, gleaming and glorious, and worth around 70,000 euro. So that's quite a good business when you add up the numbers. It's hard to believe this car was once a basket case worth less than half the price of a new Fiesta. Now, everything down to the red leather seats seemed just as fresh as when it rolled out of the showroom 49 years ago. And it is a lovely car. The straight-six two-litre engine has only got just over 100 horsepower, so little in modern-day terms. Disc brakes on the front, servo to help them slow the car down, power steering, but still a lot of lock needed. It just reminds you how cars have changed over the last 50 years from taut, no roll, high revving sports cars to this elegant, roly poly style of the past. And I rather like it. 
Right, the zero to 100 to zero test. I'm in the Merc, Tiff in the Jag. It's hard to predict a winner for this one. At first glance, the S63 seems to hold all the aces. It's got 34 more horsepower and a massive extra 162 pounds feet of torque. But because the Jag is lighter, it's got a better power to weight ratio. This Jaguar is going to leap off the line. And less weight means the Jaguar should stop quicker as well. To eliminate any possible differences in our start line techniques, we'll conduct this test with all the traction control devices switched on. The flag is raised. Then we're away. And we're off. Oh, look at that. Leave him standing. Whoa, traction's on. We've got half a car length on me already. Bye bye, Tiffy. 60, 70. 90. 100. 100. No. Oh, he's not even close. He's like a good 30 meters away. What? What? Easy peasy that was. You Hello. never got to 100 miles an hour. You, you've cheated. No, I did. It was 100 miles an hour. I've got a head up display, dash display. I've got all sorts of displays. My, my brakes weren't warmed up. Oh. I want another go. No, no, we need to, I, I want proof. I don't, oh, for God's one more, sakes, one more. old man. He's played some trick. These Grand Prix drivers, modern boys, they've played some tricks. While the Jaguar's supercharged engine delivers serious pulling power from 3,000 revs onwards, it was simply outmuscled by the Mercedes wall of torque. But then it occurred to me that maybe the Jaguar had been at a bit of a disadvantage. Your lane was quicker. This is the grippy side of the... You're going to go on that side now. Right. Uh, OK. Is this it, bud? This yep. is it. No more rematch. No, no, no. Right, well, okay. Well, unless it'll be one all after this, oh. and then we'll have to have a third one. Oh, for God's sake. Tim Star is wittering again. Happens with age, I hear. Prepare. Reactions lightning. Rematch. I'm in the supposedly slower lane. Let's see how we get on. Oh, I've got the stuff, I've got, I've got the stuff. Grip, grip. Look at that, 60, 70, he's nowhere. No, he's still got half a length on me. 80, 100. 95, 100. Yes, still a win. 2-0. Wonder what excuse he's gonna come up with this time. Okay, Jaguar loses. Time for the final, most important round. Which car is the nicest to drive when it comes to high speed, on-the-limit racing, lap after lap? Let's dog 